My last stop in India was the ancient city of Jaipur, known as the Pink City. This province is the ancestral home of the royal family of Jaipur, the last monarchs to rule this region in India. The Queen of Jaipur, along with her daughter, Princess Dia, invited me to a party at their 300-year-old palace. Let me just tell you, there ain't nothing like living in a palace in India. Those of you who've watched uh, The Oprah Show for years know that, number one, I don't like surprises, and number two, very hard to surprise me because I think I've seen a lot of stuff. I had never seen anything like that. My goddaughter Kirby and I were greeted by the princess's husband, Maharaj Narinder Singh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we get there, and there's the horse driven carriage. Wow! Kirby and I are both, we're, we're like starstruck kids in the candy store. What in the world? Well, this is a party. Yes. <laughs> and then these men with red suits and trumpets coming along with these ancient looking trumpets, and they're all lined along the courtyard wall. Oh my gosh, look at the horse! And then I turned and I looked to the left and I saw these camels. Oh my God, there are the camels! I had a camel on my vision board, but he wasn't dressed in jewels. And the painted elephants and the horses. Oh my. And it just knocked my spanks off. <laughs> to this day. My favorite shot is my head thrown back going, whoa! This is hysterical. This is... Holy moly! What in the world? <laughs> wow. It's the craziest ass thing that ever happened to me. The inside of the palace was, as you can imagine, spectacular. Small little house. Small little How house. many rooms are there? Three, okay. 300 rooms. 300 rooms, OK. <laughs> That's great. There I met the Princess Dia. That's uh, my wife, Princess Dia. How do you do? It's really lovely having you here. It's really lovely being here. It's a Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. And her mother, Her Highness Maharani Padmini Devi of Jaipur. What do you do? My honor to meet you. It will be an honor to visit you. I'm so honored and joyful to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Party! I met the royal family's inner circle over cocktails. Oh, that's the one that And then dinner that followed was exquisite. Nice to Never seen a table decked out like that. It's beautiful. I am uh, beyond honored. Honored is a small word um, to begin to express what it means to me to have been invited here and accepted as friend and family. And my next visit, I will take you up on a room in the palace. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Until we meet again. All right. Until we meet again. All right. There's a wonderful saying, I think it's actually a spiritual, that says, wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. And I would say that the opportunity to go to experience India in the way that we've been able to share with you all, our viewers, this whole trip would not have been as valuable to me if I was not sharing it with you. Because everything is better when you share it. So as I experienced everything from the, the very first day I arrived, I kept imagining how this would be seen through the eyes of you, our viewers, so that you know that the common thread in the human experience is 
our shared humanity and that we really are all searching for the same things. And we call it by different names. We call God by different names. We call our family traditions by different names. We eat different foods. We live in different spaces. But ultimately, we are all looking for the same thing. We're all just looking for a little peace here on Earth.